on the one hand, the Arab problem will grow and grow and grow, thanks to the Jewish problem. Thanks to the Jewish problem. One sits in Israel and watches a country falling apart, committing suicide. Two weeks ago, at the Megiddo prison, the Megiddo prison, at the Megiddo junction, five miles from Afula, in Israel, has in it several hundred Arab terrorists. And each week, the families, the relatives, come to visit them. And for the most part, things are passed quietly. Two weeks ago, along with the Arab families, came a group of Jews from a group known as Hala HaKibush, down with the occupation. And listen to the sickest story of many sick stories. As the Arab families stood quietly, the Jews unfurled banners and started calling the soldiers fascists and Nazis. And the Arabs looked at first with, with fear. So they started calling them and Nazis. Why not? If the Jews show that it can be done, can the Arabs be far behind? And as the soldiers started to attempt to clear their way through, the Jews picked up rocks and started throwing it at the soldiers. And of course the Arabs saw it, and so they rioted. Every Friday, in every major city in Israel, the women in black come out. The women in black. Daila Kibush. Enough of the occupation. There is not one Arab in any Arab land who on any Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday comes out and says, let's have peace with Israel. There is no peace now movement in any Arab country. There is no movement that condemns its government for not wanting to have peace with the Jews. It is a specific Jewish sickness which tells a great deal about the psychopathic results of a galut, of an exile of 1900 years. We have become an abnormal people. Last month, at the rally of Peace Now, Tel Aviv, Dan Almagor, one of the leading entertainers of Israel, got up and said the following words. We had better... We had better prepare the glass cages in which we will sit when they put us on trial for what we have done to the Palestinians. What an obscenity. What an outrage. What a sick human being this is. A comparison to an Eichmann, to Nazis. What a sickness this person, this person is. And for all the Jews of Israel who were upset and said, how can you compare Jews to Nazis? That is how God punishes people who sat by quietly when they compared us to Nazis and were silent. God repays measure for measure. What how obscene it was to call the Kach movement Nazi. But who protested? Who said no? No one said, said no. They were repaid measure for measure. 
Suddenly, Jews got up and called the army of Israel a Nazi army. What an obscenity, what a sickness. And how, unless we do something about this to end this, 